serotonin is sort of your happy neurotransmitter that makes you feel good. And when you don't have that, you get pretty aggravated, irritable, uh, anxiety, uh, depression. Uh, feeds into all of that. And neurotransmitters, it's not just one that does a thing. And that's really a, one of the big issues of why the medications don't work so well. Because when you look at anxiety and depression, it's dopamine, it's serotonin, and it's norepinephrine. So it's the combination of the three. So it's balancing all of those systems instead of trying to raise one, but it's trying to balance all of those pieces. Serotonin affects immunity, mood, anxiety, depression, sleep, and appetite satiety. And that's part of what some of the receptors for serotonin do in the gut is help regulate your appetite. And for some people now they're finding that uh, in some of the extremely obese people that they're not getting the satiety pieces so there's something going on with the serotonin receptors in the colon that they're not getting the signal to cut off. But this is used of how you, the cells and the neurons communicate and the serotonin is released, it goes to a receptor. And a lot of the serotonin reuptake inhibitor medications for depression, what they're doing is making it stay here longer. They block it from going back into the cell. All right? So a big piece is how much do you really have here? If you're not making a lot of serotonin, you're not going to have a lot here. And that's why a lot of times the SSRI drugs, they work for a little while and then they don't work. So they change to something else or they raise the dose. So you start switching it around. Well, it's not working because you don't have enough serotonin. And if you raise your serotonin level, then it's like those issues go away.